In this video, we're going to be looking at the next uh, stage. So we've just completed the banner and the buttons. So the template is pretty much done. So if you look at this acronym, as you can see, the order uh, just makes perfect sense. We're going to use this template to create the pages that's required for uh, from the exam brief itself, the client brief. Um, and then we can put the text in. Obviously, without the pages, you have nowhere to put the text. So uh, back here, you can see this is what it looks like. Uh, I'm going to show you very quickly what I have in front of me. Now, you might have something very similar to this. You might have something identical to this. Uh, it's really down to your own preference, really. So when you see here, uh, the buttons at the top, this area here, nice little area for some text or images. Um, I can obviously split this up even further, depending on what the page requires of me. Um, and same thing down here. And of course, as you know from this exam, we are allowed, it's, permit, it's permitted to have a scroll uh, website, a website that scrolls down, sorry, vertically. And um, you can see the icons here at the bottom, the social media ones. Um, but the thing I wanted to highlight is the borders themselves. Now, sometimes the borders make it nice and easy on the eyes. It makes it a little bit, you know, easy to see. Sometimes it doesn't. Now, if you don't want the borders in there, it's a good idea to look at this now, purely because um, if you're going to copy the template, if you make the decision that you don't want the borders in there, um, it saves you time, basically. If you don't do this now, you'll copy the template to make your pages, and then you'll have to get rid of the borders from every single page that you copied. Whereas if you do it now, you do it the one time. So if you want to get rid of it, all you have to do is click anywhere on the outside of the table, uh, and then you'll see border here at the bottom, and it says 1. All you have to do is delete, put zero instead, press enter. And what it gives you in return is a dotted line um, where the border used to be, just so you can see where the cells still lie, where they actually start and end. And then if I was to save this, so control and S and go back here and refresh the page, it should disappear. So you can see, so some people may prefer that look, okay? But it's all down to your personal preference. I prefer them with them, so I'm going to go back and basically put them back in again. And it's the same thing. You can always look at it, and then if you decide to actually change your mind, just click on the edge, go back here, and just put a 1 instead, and then they'll obviously return. Control and S to save. Now, the next stage, as I said, is to basically use that template. So I'm going to go back into my folder where my template is. There it is. And we need to make the pages. So I'm going to go back over here because I want you, and you need to, in fact, make reference to this constantly in the exam. If you don't look at this, you are going wrong somewhere. Yes, this will help you create a, a very basic website, decent layout, and, you know, the order does make sense. And at the end, you'll get decent grades, but you can't get maximum marks without knowing the specifics. These requirements that are... Uh, here on the left hand side, uh, uh, summarized, here is the specific things that the examiner is looking for from the exact, uh, with, from the website that you're creating. So it's really important that you constantly go back at this and like I say to my students, make sure you have highlighters or, or some, something to basically make notes on. You know, the paper is there for not just to make reference to, but to also gather your thoughts to plan as you're going along. Of course you have your plan at the beginning, but as you're going along, you should be using this to tick things off. So I'm going to go back to the top, and you'll see here, uh, just as a reminder, I obviously remember where it is, but if you forget, there's nothing wrong with that. You can see there's four pages, two main ones, two ch uh, children ones, or ch two child pages, sorry. Um, so we need four. We're going to have to copy the template four times, and we're going to give these names. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to snap this over this side, just so I can see it, and snap this over this side, and all I'm going to do is basically click organize. Now, if depending on what system you're on, uh, if you're you know, working at home uh, or if you're at school, if you have certain access rights uh, uh, disabled, you may not be able to have the you may not have the opportunity or the ability to right click and go and copy here. If you can, fantastic. You can just right click, copy and paste, or you can just go to the top here. So click that once, go up here, copy, and then you just click away, organize and paste. And we give the name. So the first one I'm going to call homepage. Okay, so you can see it there, homepage. And in, in fact, since it's separated here, I'm going to do exactly the same homepage. There we go. 
organize and paste. Now I don't need to copy again because it remembers that I've copied it once already. So paste again. Go inside. If you click it once, it opens up like this. If you accidentally click away, just click it and go to organize and rename. It doesn't make a difference. Um, I'm going to do competition now. There we go. Make sure the spelling is correct. Uh, yes. Organize and paste again. This one I'm going to do is the events page. And the last one is writers. Oh, click in there first. That would help. Writers workshop page. Okay. Perfect. Okay, and then all we gotta do is open these up in Dreamweaver and then start to work on them.